All right, now we're doing something new. This is our succession map for Dwarf Fortress. You're uh, made for your flabbernasters and a new flabbernaster named Stinny. The llama. He's a llama. So we're gonna go and we're gonna play Dwarf Fortress one year at a time, and we'll pass it off to the next character. Uh, I'm beginning it. Striker's here with me, but he'll be getting it next, and then it'll be passed off to Stinny the llama. And so we've already generated a world here. We're not. Gonna, we're going to be a little bit tutorially. I'm going to be a little bit tutorially. I'm not going to explain every little detail though. So the world we made is a small world with a medium history. It has a medium number of civilizations, uh, a high maximum number of sites, very high number of beasts, Yay. high sa natural savagery. Oh joy! And frequent mineral occurrence. Elephants. Elephants everywhere. Flood the world. So we're going to begin. Histories of cupidity and tenacity. Okay, where am I? Where's my purple? I'm down at the bottom. So we're going to go. Let's see, what do we got here? The Hill of Grove. That's got something on it. There's a volcano. Ooh. Volcano. I don't know. So I'm there on the left. You can see the local screen is the general area. The region and the world are exactly the same, only because I'm playing this at a very large screen. And the red tilde there is a volcano. Is that actually going to be good to work with? Some soil, shallow metals, and deep metals. There's no flux stone. Let's keep looking. All right. Let's, uh, let's jump this way. Up to the stairs civilization there. Get damn it. Why is there always civilization where I want to land? Those are some pretty trees. I'll keep it that much. Oh, I don't want to play with an aquifer on this map. It's never good with aquifers. What do we got? Little soil, shallow metals, deep metals, and flux stone. Is that on both the biomes? Yeah, I don't like that either. Let's move down to the river. Okay, this will be a minute. I'm going to find something good. Some soil. I can deal with some soil. Actually, let's just move straight over here. Oh, yeah, that's perfect right there. Yep, that's where I'm going to embark. This is my only warning. Oh, God. Yes. All right, so let's prepare you carefully. So let's customize. This is Axosphere. I am a tuber. Yeah, Axosphere the tuber. I will be the farmer. All right, so two point one point of grower since he'll learn how to, oh, since I'll learn how to do that as I go along. So next we get a woodcutter and a carpenter. Whoops, too far. Feel free to yell at me anywhere you want if there's a problem in the comments. Striker, don't say anything. I'm watching you. Okay. <laughs> get a miner. I'm going to go plan horrible things to do. It's okay, you get it next. You can play with all the minecarts I leave behind. Probably okay, uh, brewer. I need a brewer. You can also be the... Um, actually, I'll also be the cook. I'm okay with that. Alright, what do we got? Uh, you need something. You can be butcher tanner. What am I missing? Oh, I need a mason. I can come around in a minute. This butcher tanner will also be my broker in the long run. So you can have appraiser, right? Striker, appraising is the skill for a broker. That's one of the more necessary ones. That's the one that you need to be able to count money. Good enough. Okay. I need a I need a mason and I need a building designer. Come on, go up faster. Mason building designer. And my last guy. He can be a fisher. He can fish for things. Fish dissector. Fish cleaner. There's three things in the fish category, right? Yeah. Fish dissecting, fish cleaning. Well, there should be something for actually fishing itself, possibly. Grower, wax worker, ambusher, butcher, in other words. Animal dissector? No. No. 
uh, Lion Maker. No, that's too far down. No, oh, Fisherman. There it is, way up there. Underneath the mechanic. Okay. So now we go to the items. Copper picks and battle axes, that's fine. Um, I don't need... I don't need these splints and these crutches. Uh, everything else here looks okay. How many points? 200 and... Alright, so let's get some dogs. There's a dog. There's some more dogs. <laughs> Striker's glaring at me. He knows what I like to do with these dogs. They are, they are useless in every way, shape, and form. Eh, they're more useful than rabbits. That's true. Where are... Uh, did I go past them? Taking my pea fowl. That's what I'm looking for, actually. You're at the end. Oh, okay, I'll go up. Oh yeah, pea chicks and peacocks. Look at the chicks. Well, yeah, pea cocks and pea hens. One cock and... Th how many hens is a good number? I usually go three, three hens and two cocks. Just because... I'll go five and one. That's fine for now. Alright. I, I like insurance versus terrible things accidentally happening. To them. Uh, pigs. Where are pigs? Because pigs don't have to graze. They're good for just to breed like fuck. Sow and boar. Good. 52 points. Um, new item. What do I want to bring? Uh... Oh, there's no basalt? I can't bring basalt. I can build, bring granite, that's okay. I always like to bring some stone with me, just in case something goes wrong. Alright, so let's name this, name the fortress. It's currently called Rough Balls, which, no, that will not do for us. Abby, Abby, the Abby, Abby of Abbeys. The Ace Abby, Abby of Abbeys. No, we're gonna go with, um... Um. Oops. I forgot to select that. I'm not saying it out loud, because Striker will be able to hear the whole thing when I finish it. Damn it! No, let's, let's, um... Yeah, let's, let's... Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's a random. You can random? Oh, cool. That's not what I want, though. Noiselessness. That doesn't do. Of no the words I want are here. All right, rain terror, the echo of savagery. Yay! Yay! All right, so we're gonna do that. I guess. Oops, that that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, now we go. Escape is done. We're going to save this setup just in case. We're going to call it Secession I-O-N Type 1. And then we embark. Rain Terror, the Echo of Savagery. Scared yet? Not until... You have arrived! After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Rabrith. There is almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the alligators get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Name of location that's in Dwarf. Rain Terror, the Echo of Savagery. Strike the Earth. Oh, well, yeah. Here we go. Wrong um, button. Alligators, man. All right, so it's not snowy. That's a good one. Oh, it's starting to save. Mac the knife died to alligators. Whoops. Let's not touch it while it's uh, 
trying to save. Yeah. And then it starts to break. And I don't know if that's screwing with the recording, but we'll find out. So. We have it set to go for one entire year. It will pause and then save right, at, right when it says spring has arrived. So that's when I will finish my reign. Here we go. Okay. So let's look around real quick since I am paused. Ooh, it's a small map. I forgot about that. There's very, very much distance to go northward. I see some gems. What do we got there? Tiger iron. Uh, limestone. Limestone is flux. Yes. Oh, what's that? What's that? Calonite. Calonite's not a metal. I don't uh, think so. You can check in the stones. Yep, I'm getting my, my, my wiki up right here because I need some assistance. DF wiki. Sorry if the typing will get a little loud. I don't have a good quality microphone on hand. I might later. We'll see. So let's go... Kaolinite. K-A-O-L-I. Yep, there it is. So, just so that we're aware, it can be used as a kiln to produce porcelain. Right. Okay, so we can start with porcelain. It's not, it's not, not bad. Useful. It's not metal, but it's not bad. Um, wait, what's that? No, I have magnetite. There's iron. So we can steal right off the bat. That's what I'm. That's what I'm rushing for. We've got uh, clay loam, so we can easily do some... Okay, this is perfect. I like this embark. We've got a brook. Yep, there's a brook. Alright, let's begin. Let's cut some trees down. We'll dig out, we'll uh, dig this up, and then we'll move inside. Oh, I don't have anyone to... Where is... There's my tuber. I actually have to turn on your... Plant processing. Plant gathering. There. Gather some plants. Oh, there's magnetite right here. I'm okay with this. Okay, who's... Who's also has nothing to do? You. What are you? You're my brewer. I don't want to do you. Um, Fisher. My Fisher is also a miner. Just so we can dig faster. Okay, dig this out. I want some metal. We're rushing this so hard. Okay. What's on the map already? There's a barn owl and a weasel. Okay, I can settle for that. So that... They're taking out the ramp there so that anything that comes around won't be able to walk right into my base. They have to go through the little entryway. Shouldn't be... It's, I mean, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So we'll see how that works out. Thoughts so far, Striker? None. <laughs> Strike the earth. Do it. I'm striking that earth. Strike that earth. So hard. So my fisher's fishing and not mining. I guess I'm not going to complain. I didn't check if there are any necro towers nearby. <laughs> Should be okay, though. Come on, drop me a magnetite. Drop me a magnetite. Oh, now my fisher, no, fisher is mining. Yeah, there's one. Okay, so let's dig. Let's start a... I like to do three wides for my hallways, even my main hallways. Okay, that's set. That'll dig out real soon. I see my little pigs. I think those are my pigs. Let's just double check. Yep, that's my boar and sow. So hopefully we'll get piglets in, in a year. I, my, who is that? Who's walking around like a derp over there? Is that me? That's me. Way to go, derp. You get yourself killed. Well, I got nothing to do. I'm only a, I, I'm a cook and I'm a, and, uh, a planter. I don't have a farm yet. So I'm just going to wander around aimlessly. So that's my dwarf. Striker will take over a dwarf for himself. And the llama will take over a dwarf for himself as well. It'll be, a, it'll be a fun experience. Good times that will be had by all.
So we're going to dig out that magnetite, and then we're going to go, and I'll probably get some of that kaolinite. I want to get that moving quick, too. While I'm waiting, um, E, W. That'll get me a wood furnace. No one's got a uh, wood burner. I, you know what? I can be a wood burner, too. Wait, why do I have a farmer? What are you farmer for? Butcher can't. No, screw it. You're a wood burner now. Okay. That should be built in a second. Right in the center there, next to the next to the piglet or the pig. It's not a piglet. And I can start making charcoal. Yeah, charcoal. Oops, my map came back. All right, charcoal. All the charcoal I can make. Oops, one too many. Since I have trees galore, I don't have to worry. This should work out rather well. You might have steel by your year. I'm going to use it to construct a monument to my greatness. I'm going to use it to construct a steel mine tracks. No. <laughs> it will be the great. It'll be the reign of rain terror. No, the reign of terror will be my reign. I'm and the llama will sit there and go, what the hell did you guys do? Migrants are going to have their limbs chopped off before they're allowed in the fort. I'm okay with this. Should we flood the map? Should we flood the base? Should we flood the base? The what? Water. Of course. Just I said open the, tr open the truck doors. Yeah, yeah. When Axosphere decided that he should just go pulling levers. In a previous map. After two, after two years of work to construct... To construct a system so that we could flood, we built our base in the riverbed so that we could flood it and then seal hatches so that the river would just flow over top of our base while sweeping away any invaders. Axosphere couldn't find the notes, so he just started pulling levers. And For what it's worth, just managed I just to, opened up the notes screen. And just managed to flood our base. Oops. <laughs> so it was fun, though. So the dwarves bad. learned how to swim. Well, uh, the ones that didn't die. Water baiters now. <laughs> it was good times. Good times were had by all. I mean, you gotta learn how to swim sometime, right? No time like the present. <laughs> like the present, bro. All right, so I'll be making a farm in that room I just built, and then I'm gonna let them finish digging out that. I'm gonna build a smelt. Uh, my smelter, yeah. Uh, S. Wrong button. Smelter is going to go right right there. Build it out of limestone. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start two farms. Um, let's do this. Perfect. And then we'll do a farm next to it. Let's start our pigtails early. Cool. Two farms. I actually have a job to do now, working on them tuber. This is why I'm the tuber. Do I need... I need furnace operator for smelting, don't I? You need wood burning for the wood I've got wood burning. And then furnace someone, operator for Yeah, the someone's got to be a furnace operator. All right, that's you now. For smelting. Okay, so pigtails go here. Pigtails don't start until uh, summer and autumn. Uh, v, pigtails, pigtails. And in between, we can, we, I guess we can do some plump helmets. I can do quarter bushes in spring. I don't have any bags to process into yet, though. I should wait. You, you embark with a few. Don't I use those for seeds automatically, though? Yeah, they will. You'll have a, you'll have you know what? Let's just do quarry bushes. Let's build real quick a... Um, farmer's it? workshop. Right there. <clears throat> I've got a song stuck going through my head. Hmm? Wookie Wookie by Macho Man. Have you ever heard of that? Nope. You'll hear it later when I play it in Step Mania. It's, it's amusing. I don't understand it, but it's just catchy as hell. 
Go look it up if you get a chance. All you viewers. All you viewers. Uh, where's my... Okay, I can start. Charcoal done? Charcoal, 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 charcoal. Okay, and then... I want to do... Smelt magnetite ore. Smelt all the ore. Okay. I don't have anyone who can do processing. Damn it! Okay, well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm working at this. I only have seven dwarves. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that's the thing with... This is what happens get, when I try to do so much infrastructure so early. When you so try to get advanced infrastructure set up in your first few months... Oop, pump helmets. Pump helmets all year round. Make sure you make mental notes of who you're assigning this shit, so you can unassign it when migrants come. I'm gonna forget. Cool. That's what I do best. Okay, I'll have iron in a minute or two. And it's still early spring. Are we going to be able to live off, off food and drink? We should. Like the last time when I was stranded with a map where we were above ground at the end of year one and dying. That was a fun map. Excuse me. It was, and so we got slaughtered by goblins because our army consisted of war dogs. Those dogs were so awesome. They were. They warned you that the dog goblins were coming. Yes, and then and they took down all the melee goblin squads really well. Then they charged into the Marks goblin squads and were mowed down terribly. Yee-haw. It was like storming the beaches in Normandy without body armor. Best times that were had by all. No. All right, let's, so let's make an, um, a quick storage room up here because we got to put our food inside, else it'll just sit there and rot. And turn into refuse, which I didn't make a refuse pit yet. I should do that. Um, P R. Okay. Peru. All right, so we can dig that out. We'll plant my. We'll plant my one plump helmet that I decided to plant. Ooh, magnetite! I've struck magnetite. Thanks, game. I didn't know that at all. We have to dump that. Okay, let's make a garbage pit right here, so that I can just get everything out. How much iron do I have? Well, tell me how much iron is underneath the smelter. Uh, T. Where's T? T lets you view uh, building. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, look at all those iron bars. Yeah. There's two pages of them. All right, so now, um, pig iron. Let's finish smelting ore, and then I'll do some pig iron, and then we'll go right into steel. Everyone steal swords so they can fight off the crocodiles. I was thinking steel that steel. Um, what is that? You know what? Let's. There was a good post on Reddit I saw a little while ago that. Um, Gave you the best way to arm your dwarves. Let's see. Where can I find it? It's been a while since it's been posted. So I'm off on another screen while I'm digging here. Oh, that, that room finished. So let's dump that. Real quick. All right, where's this quick reference sheet? Military quick reference, point 1.0. So I want to arm them as such. Oops, where am I going? Three male shirts, one breastplate, and six cloaks. So I'm going to make a bunch of male shirts first. Male shirts, those are made out of metal, right? Yep. Yeah. That's what I figured. Because I see trousers. You can't make trousers out of metal. Trousers are made out of cloth. Yeah, I know that. <clears throat> oh, I've struck a magnetite again. Oh, no, that's the same announcement. Let's make that go away. All right, where's my miners? I want to dig down and start working on bedrooms. All right, my uh, normal dwarf fortress has a set, a set up for macros 
for building bedrooms. I might have to remake that macro here. We'll see. What happens when the dwarf is flashing question mark? Um, it's it's usually just showing that uh, someone took their item that they were going to use or something. Yeah, because like that. that's the first time I've actually actively noticed it. Yeah, it's, I know the up arrow and the down arrows and the different colors. Yeah. Okay. The question mark is usually just that they were doing a task and now they can't for some reason, but okay. it's no big deal. Sounds good to me. I've seen it quite a few times. Alright, so can I make more? No, one more. Alright, I can do pig iron though. I can tell them to make pig iron. Yeah, pig iron bars. One, two, three, four. I'll, I'll probably end up making my first steal and calling this first episode through. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, how's the... They're not digging yet. Oh, you know why? Cause this has to be an up stairway. So they can come down the stairs. Yeah, that makes sense. I know what I'm doing, I swear. Or do you? Yeah. 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 All right, now that that's done digging, and my plump helmet, what am I, what is planting there? I guess that must have been a plump helmet. Yeah, the plump helmet seed is red. I should pasture my pigs somewhere. Oh, you know what I can do? This can be a food room now. Food storage. Yay, start hauling. Good job. Now I just have to wait for those quarry bushes to grow. So steel is good is better for armor. The only thing better than it for armor and edged weapons is adamantine and it is the best for blunt weapons according to this reference guide so I think that I'm gonna start with armor I can start with air with um what do you call it with, with yeah with bolts just to get them tiered up meh I got rather not and I'd, and I'd do that with iron not with the steel so maybe I will start with iron equipment Let's make them a room once I get. Okay. Kind of want the bedrooms to be up on the further north side so I can smooth them later. So let's dig that way first. I should start brewing. I don't think I have. I don't think I have any empty barrels. Okay. So let's um. Let's make a mason. Uh, not a mason. It's a craft dwarf's workshop. Just so I can start turning out. Rock pots. My mason will also be a stone crafter for now. This should work out. How is the pig iron going? Two more. And then we will make steel. Oh, it'll be excellent. I want to arm them all with spears. Spear is my weapon of choice, personally, because it's good at piercing, you can internally wound a whole lot of enemies, it's just bad at severing limbs, which hasn't been a big thing for me, but we'll see. I might make swords. I might make them both. It depends on what I want to arm the, the guys with. Okay, so rock pots, rock pot, rock pot, rock pot. We'll reclaim this metal here, so in case I need to use it. All right. Yeah, that's much better. If I make bedrooms there off the left now, they'll all be of stone, and I can smooth it out, and it'll look pretty in the future when I have more people. So we're in late spring. 
Uh, almost a quarter of my reign is through, and we have, we're almost at steel. I can queue up steel, actually. Oh, I can't. What am I missing? It takes place at a smelter or magma smelter. What am I missing? Fuck stone, refined coals, pig iron bars, iron bars. That's a smelter. It should work. Huh, interesting. Alright, well, let's dig out a room real quick, just because. We we'll use it as a makeshift storage room. Can always close it back up later. And make a carpenter's workshop out here. Yeah, I've got iron, I've got pig iron, and I have limestone. It should all work. I don't see the problem here. Sure. Where is that? Oh, right here. Cool. Let's take a quick look at that. Unremarkable low value gems found in layers. It's with a material value of two. It's also known as black tourmaline. Okay. Well, I don't care about what it is. We're going to dump it because I need that room space. But if I had a jeweler, I would probably cut it up. It won't be a while till Trade Depot shows up anyway. So can I make steel now? Or is it going to yell at me? I can't make steel bars. Oh, you know why? I don't think I have any charcoal. That's probably why. So I don't want to use all my wood on charcoal, because I need to make some bins. And barrels. Start cutting more trees. Alright. So, we're almost to char we're almost to steel. We'll call this an episode here, and we'll be right back with the next episode. Take care and enjoy.